but I am actually at Brig today, or Snotty Brig as I call it. Hey everyone, Gia loves trains here and welcome to Exploring Yorkshire and the Humber by Train, day 15. I have been waiting a little while now to get a Saturday off and for there to be no train strikes on said Saturday and well, we've got one today. I'm off to Barnett B, Curzon Lindsay and Brig. Yep, only three stations but it is because two of them are down the dodgy Brig line and it is a Saturday only service down that line, hence why I needed a Saturday to come and make this vlog. I'm currently on 185151. I'm at Barnet B. I am actually here for a while, an hour and 20 minutes, and I decided to come a little bit early just to make sure that I could definitely get the next train. Barnetby's got four platforms, it's operated by Transpain Line Express, you've also got East Midlands Railway and Northern Trains calling here. Up on the signs it does say for Humberside Airport, so I'm guessing Barnetby's the closest station to get you to the airport. And down here on the platforms we've got some shelters, some blue benches, and to exit the station you can either go via the stairs or via the long winding turquoise and yellow ramp. And on those ramps there are the little signs on the handles with braille on them to point you in the direction of the platforms and I am of course going to go and have a run up the ramps. At the very front of the station we've got some massive signs, we've got an information display and a type of ticket machine that I've never seen before. Okay, so it turns out the next Cleethorpe's train is Bangor time and I could have actually just got that and had a 20 minute change over here. But in saying that, even though I'm just hanging around the station, time is actually going by pretty fast. All right, here comes the train. It's 152.01. I'm glad to be on this train, not only so that it can take me to Curtin Lindsay, but also because I did really need to wait, so yeah. I'll be about one of those now, and this is so cool, like, riding down the brig line for the first time. I'm at Dodgy Curtin Lindsay, and what makes it dodgy is that it's only served by three trains in each direction between Sheffield and Cleethorpes on a Saturday only. I have got a bit of a wait here again, it's about 1 hour 20 minutes, but I have got longer waits at each of the stations today. Curtin Lindsay is a really small station, it's actually quite cute, but there is not a lot here, it's very basic. There's some posters up, there is a single shelter, a blue bench, a grip box, there is a station building, I think it might be a house or something or other like that, and there's a bin bag. <laughs> I love how Platform 1 is labelled with a piece of paper. I've stepped out of the station just to have a look at the front of it, but there's nowhere I need to walk to here, so I'm gonna just go back into the station and sit on the bench. There's a lovely view in Curtin Lindsay of a load of trees, and I do believe this used to have two platforms, but there is only one platform here now, and it's operated by Northern Trains. And when you're at Curtin Lindsay, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at Curtin Lindsay, you put your knickers on your head, and you shout, Squishy Babies! Bit of a step up there, I might have another wee whilst I'm on here actually. Just got off another loud train, 152.18. And I was thinking back to when I was at Drig in Cumbria, and genuinely for the first few minutes that I was there, I thought I was at Brig, but I am actually at Brig today, or Snotty Brig as I call it. I think I call it that because I was talking about Brig once and I had a snotty nose or something like that, but the nickname did stick and I do like it. 
Snotty Brig is a northern only station and it's got two platforms. It's also very quiet here, like I kind of expected there to maybe be some people here taking photos of the train, but no, it's just me. <laughs> I do like this station, it is very basic again like with Kurt and Lindsay, there's not a lot here. I would say the standout feature is the bridge across the platforms which is a pale blue colour. There's older looking shelters and it's certainly not a Harrington hump but there is a lump. There's another one on this platform as well leading up to the shelter so yeah Brick's pretty lumpy as well as snotty. <laughs> There are no ticket buying facilities here but it does say on the poster because of that you are able to get your ticket on the train from the conductor. Hey stop checker, how are kids? Eee. Oh I thought I weren't too snotty today at all. There is a beautiful view out of platform two as well overlooking some fields and there's even one of those yellow fields in the distance. I keep seeing those around a lot lately and they're absolutely gorgeous. Right, whilst I've got over two hours before I can head home, I am going to go for a walk outside of the station because there is somewhere I have written down to walk to. <laughs> Of course I found the flowing water, I'm having a wonder along, it's called the Ancombe Valley Way. I do love walking along the way. We're just right next to the old River Ancombe at the moment, but it should be meeting up with the River Ancombe. <laughs> really quite difficult to say, so I'm going to have a walk to there. Also I've noticed there are massive bins here in Brig, it's like being on the Isle of Man again. When you're walking in this direction it's not obvious where the old and the new river meet but I did just walk past it. There's a Blackpool Tower over there. This is a really lovely walk, I've just come to this bridge, it's called Car Lane Bridge and this walk does actually continue on all the way up to the River Humber. Now we're sitting around all day and doing this walk just then I've only just realised how warm it is wearing this coat. But even though it was a short journey down the Snotty Brig branch line, and yes it is going to be called that from now on, there was a lot of greenery out of the windows. Thank you very much for watching everyone, Buzzy Rice! didn't just sting the hole in my bottom leg with those nettles. <laughs>